Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. As you all know, we make videos on health education, educating you about healthcare topics and there are a lot of videos on my channel about various health topics. Go and check them out and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon because that's how you will receive notifications of the next upcoming videos. So today we are going to discuss about fatigue. Why am I so tired? Why do you feel tired? Why do you feel fatigued? Why do you feel weak all the time? So there are reasons and there can be various reasons for you to feel tired or fatigued, weakness, lack of energy, all these things are basically fatigue. Now, fatigue is different from drowsiness. Drowsiness is totally different. It's a feeling of the need to sleep. And fatigue is lack of energy, uh, lack of motivation. You don't want to do something. Drowsiness is when you want to sleep, just want to sleep. And there is something called as apathy. Apathy is a feeling where you don't care about anything and you don't care about what happens. So that is apathy. Many times all these three things can go hand in hand. That means you can have fatigue and drowsiness and apathy together. But they are three different entities. So today we are going to discuss about fatigue and we are going to discuss what can be the reasons of fatigue, what can you do and when should you contact your doctor and when should you go to an emergency. In cases where you have fatigue, you are tired, you feel weakness or lack of energy. First of all, you need to understand that the fatigue and tiredness can be a natural, normal and very important response to physical activity, physical exertion, emotional stress, sometimes lack of sleep and boredom also. So all these things can lead to a fatigue or tiredness in your body which is your body alerting you that you need rest. So obviously fatigue is not necessarily because of a disease but it is a very common symptom in many diseases. So it is usually not very serious but it can be a sign of a more serious physical or even mental condition. So when fatigue is not relieved by enough sleep or good nutrition or a low stress environment, then there is some pathology behind it, then it should be evaluated by your doctor. So let's understand what can be the reasons of fatigue and trust me, there are many reasons and you can actually be tired of so many things. Let's enlist the most common ones. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. First things which you need to keep in mind is anemia. Anemia, that means decreased hemoglobin, decreased blood cells in your body. Anemia can lead to fatigue very easily. Depression or grief, iron deficiency can lead to fatigue. Sometimes pain, persistent pain can lead to fatigue. Sleep disorders, insomnia, obstructive sleep apnea, narcolepsy, any sleep disorder can lead to decreased rest and therefore fatigue or tiredness. Then thyroid gland problems, underactive or overactive, hypo or hyperthyroid, both can lead to fatigue. Then use of alcohol and drugs like cocaine, narcotics, even medicines like sedatives and antidepressants, antihistaminics can lead to fatigue. There is something called as adrenal gland lying just above your kidneys and this gland produces catecholamines and these are adrenaline, noradrenaline, the hormones which are required for the fight and flight response whenever you want to do something with aggression or 
something like that so or run away whatever it is so this adrenal gland may not be producing its hormones in the right amount so that's that's called edison's disease so this disease can also lead to fatigue then if you're not eating properly eating disorder anorexia or bulimia where you eat and then you vomit out everything that also leads to fatigue then arthritis and inflammation of your joints in elderly as well as in children juvenile arthritis also these things can lead to fatigue then there are so many autoimmune diseases all types of cancers can lead to fatigue heart failures can lead to fatigue diabetes fibromyalgia infections so there are so many things kidney diseases liver disease malnutrition and so many causes of fatigue so it's endless but still a doctor can diagnose shut down the differential diagnosis and help you with the problem by diagnosing and pinpointing the exact reason of tiredness in your case you also need to understand that there are many medications which leads to fatigue as a side effect including like i discussed already antihistamines uh, sedatives steroids diuretics water pills so all these things lead to fatigue usually fatigue is taken care of as soon as the disease or the reason is gone and many times we cannot find a reason and there is and whenever the fatigue or tiredness persists more than 6 months that is something called as chronic fatigue syndrome and this fatigue does not resolve with rest so all these things can lead to fatigue and it's the doctor's job to diagnose you to find out what is causing fatigue or tiredness in your case but there are some things which you can do at your level to actually reduce tiredness so there are some tips which you can give you those are first is you need to get enough sleep at night at least 6 to 8 hours that actually helps a lot second make sure your diet is healthy and well balanced drink plenty of water throughout the day third exercise regularly even if it is little even if it is moderate regular exercise actually helps a lot fourth is try meditation try yoga try ways to relax your body that is quite helpful fifth maintain a reasonable work and personal schedule i understand every one of us is busy and we don't have time for gyms for relaxation for yoga for meditation but you need to take out time for your body for your rest for your personal well being sixth thing which you can do reduce your stresses manage your stress take a vacation solve your relationship issues solve your money issues seventh take a multivitamin nutritional issues are so common especially vitamin b12 and vitamin d deficiency talk to your doctor if you need tests for them avoid alcohol caffeine too much caffeine and even any kind of drug abuse if you are doing tobacco avoid smoking all these things can lead to insomnia and therefore fatigue if you have a long term chronic pain or depression treating that condition helps a lot be aware that some antidepressants may also cause or even worsen your tiredness or fatigue so talk to your doctor about your medications also but do not stop or change any medications without first consulting with your doctor avoid all types of stimulants caffeine nicotine tobacco alcohol they are not treatments for of fatigue they rather they can make the problem worse when they are stopped they make you feel better for the time being because they stimulate your catecholamines but then your body actually needs rest they are not the answer they will increase your problems now let's try to understand when should you actually go to a doctor with this problem 
so you should always consult a doctor if any time during your fatigue or tiredness you feel dizzy you have confusion or any kind of synco if you have blurred vision blurring of vision or there is decreased urine output little or no urine or a lot of sweating is there or a weight gain a significant amount of weight gain is there or if there are any thoughts of self harm or committing suicide then you should talk to your doctor other reasons why you can go to a doctor are if there is unexplained fatigue weakness where you are having fever or unintentional weight loss along with it any constipation or dry skin or if there is intolerable cold feeling of cold shivering along with it if you wake up and fall back to sleep many times during the night if there is headache all the time if you are taking any medications prescribed or non prescribed or if you are using drugs or if you are always sad or depressed or if you are insomniac you don't sleep at all you can't sleep then you should actually consult your doctor and what will happen when you will consult your doctor what can you expect obviously your doctor will perform a complete physical examination and evaluate your past history present history present test and check out your heart your lymph nodes your thyroid abdomen nervous system so everything needs to be evaluated you will be asked about your lifestyle your habits your feelings your family situation any stress a lot of tests will be done for anemia diabetes for infections inflammations kidney liver thyroid urine test So all these things will be done and then after a proper analysis the reason for your fatigue will be shortlisted and differentially diagnosed and then your treatment plan will be given to you and hopefully that treatment plan will help you out but if you don't feel satisfied then you can write to us and we will try and help you out if you have any questions related to this or any other health related topic do ask us don't forget to subscribe to the channel and there are many videos already made on various health topics including blood pressure sugar insomnia fatigue everything is available go and search on the channel look for playlist on that particular topic and you can study the videos most of your queries and questions will be answered by these videos so don't forget to share the videos if you like them comment tell us what are your views about them and do share and help us out in promoting our channel this is dr karamjeet and you're watching dr education